This video covers one of the seven principles of human learning written in a 2002 report by the National Research Council. The report is titled Learning and Understanding, Improving Advanced Study of Mathematics and Science in U.S. High Schools. The principles described in this report can benefit anyone who wishes to learn, not just high school students. A link to the full report is in the description. In this video, I will only cover the third principle, which is known as metacognition. Learning is facilitated through the use of metacognitive strategies that identify, monitor, and regulate cognitive processes. To be effective problem solvers and learners, students need to determine what they already know and what else they need to know in any given situation. They must consider both factual knowledge, about the task, their goals, and their abilities, and strategic knowledge about how and when to use a specific procedure to solve the problem at hand. In other words, to be effective problem solvers, students must be metacognitive. Empirical studies show that students who are metacognitively aware perform better than those who are not. Metacognition is an important aspect of students' intellectual development that enables them to benefit from instruction and helps them know what to do when things are not going as expected. For example, research demonstrates that students with better developed metacognitive strategies will abandon an unproductive problem-solving strategy very quickly and substitute a more productive one whereas students with less effective metacognitive skills will continue to use the same strategy long after it has failed to produce results. The basic metacognitive strategies include, 1. Connecting new information to former knowledge, 2. Selecting thinking strategies deliberately, and 3. Planning, monitoring, and evaluating thinking processes. Experts have highly developed metacognitive skills related to their specific area of expertise. If students in a subject area are to develop problem-solving strategies consistent with the ways in which experts in the discipline approach problems, one important goal of advanced study should be to help students become more metacognitive. Fortunately, research indicates that students' metacognitive abilities can be developed through explicit instruction and through opportunities to observe teachers or other content experts as they solve problems and consider ideas while making their thinking visible to those observing. Having students construct concept maps for a topic of study can also provide powerful metacognitive insights, especially when students work in teams of three or more. It is important to note that the teaching of metacognitive skills is often best accomplished in specific content areas since the ability to monitor one's understanding is closely tied to the activities and questions that are central to domain-specific knowledge and expertise. If you enjoyed the video please consider subscribing to this channel. This channel, Love of Learning, focuses on introducing ideas to people and disseminating wisdom. Check out my other videos if you want to learn about other interesting topics.